So what is the position currently on the ground? Let's stick to earnings. And when you are meeting corporates, what is the sense that you're getting? Because I find that right from some time last year, there were multiple uh, market gurus who came and said, we've seen the worst. You both haven't. But uh, is that, again, a very specious way of looking at it, that every quarter you come and you say, I think we've hit the worst. Mm. It's going to get better from here. So okay. when you are talking to corporates, as you mentioned, what is the sense you're getting? Are we still far away from seeing the worst? So the one thing which we as investors do is take the overall market earnings number, as I said, with a pinch of salt, mm. because that's an average number. Mm. What's happened over the last two years is that the dispersion in earnings has become pretty wide. So if you look at, let's say, take a sample of 150 large companies, there are about 19, 20% of those companies which are growing more than 30% earnings. And probably 40% of those companies are not growing earnings at all. So it's like saying a man has his head in the microwave oven and his feet in the freezer, and on average he's at room temperature. Uh, but that's not a great way of that's not a great way of looking at it. Uh, we don't look at this 8% earnings growth number and say, oh, there's nothing here. We're focusing more on the companies which are delivering steady earnings, which you have said on your show before. Mm. Uh, that's been our credo. We are looking for superior earnings growth, uh, companies with sustainable capital allocation plans. Uh, and those are doing well. So we, we, are, we are kind of sticking with those. And yeah. are, are you seeing a pattern, uh, without getting into names here, but we saw recently a set of results from a, a very good private sector bank, which for 10 years was doing over 30%, and it's slipped. Is that somewhere to be seen as an indicator that uh, even these steady earning kind of companies are finding the going very tough in the current economic? Would you read it like that? Well, I know it's a very small no, number. Know. It doesn't probably change anything from mm -hmm. your point of view. But is that a sense that things are now getting so tough? No, the macro headwinds are very strong and that's well known. Mm. So in fact, for some of these companies, I'd be surprised if they don't uh, slow down by a few notches mm. uh, and if they continue to... Uh, show 40, 30, 40, 50 percent earnings growth, regardless of the macro, then you actually start wondering if if all is okay with these companies. Mm -hmm. So, so, so some degree of, uh, you know, it's actually good that you know some of these companies which may have grown 30 percent for the last uh, 10 years are now showing a 25 to 30 percent kind of range, mm -hmm. because that reflects what's happening in the in the in the environment. Mm -hmm. So, so we are not getting too perturbed because these companies are still, in a relative sense, doing far better than the rest of the uh, rest of the industry. So, so we are not perturbed about those few notches lower, mm. but because it's a sign of the times, it's a sign of the environment. Hello and welcome to Market News.